The most challenging thing for any magician is to draw the viewer's attention away from what they're really doing. And engaging storytelling is what makes a good magician become great. So, be it the famous duo performing some amazing mind tricks, or magical bones performing an amazing teleportation act. Hello and welcome back, and today, we are going to figure out the secrets behind some of Got Talent's most famous magic tricks. So, let's get started. The first trick, the Jelly Bean Trick. The famous magician duo, the Clairvoyants, are known for their amazing mind-reading tricks. In one such act on America's Got Talent, Emily stands with her back turned on the stage as a chalkboard was hoisted into the air. Then Emily correctly guesses which jelly beans Simon and then Heidi picked from a basket. Next, Mel B scoops up a random number of beans into a glass. At that time, Howie names his dream flavor of jelly beans. To everyone's amazement, Emily correctly predicts the number of beans in Mel B's cup. 22 jelly beans inside this glass before she actually counts them. Finally, the chalkboard is lowered, which reveals the exact same written predictions that Emily had predicted. So, how did they do it? Well, let's figure out the secret. The first part was where Emily correctly predicts the color and flavor of Heidi's and Simon's jelly bean was communicated to her using the background screen. Many magicians prefer using Morse code to transmit data, but here, the fact that she wasn't blindfolded and only a few color codes and a number were required to be transmitted, the background screen method worked well. If you notice, the background was a huge computer monitor, so it was easy for her assistant to present her the required information in the form of some specific color or text in certain part of the screen, which only she could see and understand. Also, she would readily know when and where exactly on the screen she had to look for the data. In the next part, how did she know that Mel B put 22 jelly beans into the glass? Not even Mel B knew the exact number. This part of the trick also relies on the use of technology. The trick here, however, lies not in any data transmission method, but in the basket itself. Yes, the basket which holds the jelly beans also functions as a weighing scale. Notice that when Mel B is done with her selection, Tommy takes the time to take the scoop out of the bowl and spreads the beans evenly to get an accurate reading. He has to do this so that the scoop doesn't get weighed along with the beans. The rest was just math. Since all the jelly beans weighed the same, it's possible to calculate exactly how many of them left the bowl. So, using the transmitter fitted inside the bowl, the assistant at the backstage read the weight from the device before and after Mel B's selection and sent the calculated result to Emily on the big screen. Finally, how did the pre-written writing on the board correctly reveal everything predicted in the past? Well, for this part, we need to look at this comparison image before the board was raised and after the writings were revealed. If you notice, the board looks different before and after the prediction. Look at the letter E and the chalk dust pattern. The dust patterns are visibly different. Also, the corner of the letter E was horizontal and vertical lines crossed, which is missing in the right side image, which is after the prediction. So it confirms that it was a different board altogether. One of the assistants wrote down all the predictions backstage on a new board and then installed it behind the red curtain. Also, it was a pull-down curtain installed sideways within a metal frame and was rolled up in the backstage. To make sure no one sees it, the curtain was thin enough to be concealed behind the support beams of the board stand. When on stage, the assistants replaced the old curtain roller with the new one, which perfectly fits in place to reveal the famous prediction. The second trick, Illusion of the Levitating Man Danny Wolverton, known to the world by his stage name, Special Head, indeed left a special mark on the talent show when he performed the famous levitation act. Unlike the other levitation acts that we have seen on the streets, it was the first instance of a man performing the famous illusion while walking on and off a stage during the performance. To create the shocking element in the act, he even performed the Tuvan throat singing while carrying out the illusion of levitating, with only his left hand pressed down against his wooden stick. Then he instantly gets off his meditating position to end this amazing illusion. So, how did he magically rest his entire body in mid-air without any visible support? Well, before revealing the secret, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of our new video uploads. 
Now, let's quickly get to the secret. This levitation act is a lot different than the ones we see the street performers doing. The ones performed on the street have a setup with a metal plate attached to the rod on which the performer sits, which he then covers up with his dress. But here, we don't see any kind of setup built on the stage, and we can actually see him walking around on the stage. Then, all of a sudden, he bends backward at the knees, and his entire body above the knees is parallel to the ground, which obviously isn't possible for a human to do. So, it's obvious there's a trick involved in the act. If you notice, he was holding on to a stick when he came onto the stage. Also, if you see, the stick is holding on to something which is built into the floor. That's why the mat was placed on the floor, and that is to conceal the mechanism built under the mat. So, once he stands up holding the stick, the stick slots into a hole in the floor with his hand placed over it. The top of the stick slots into some kind of metal frame going up his sleeve and into his back support. Here, he grabs onto the stick, which is standing on a base support built on the floor, hidden under the mat. Now, to lift his body in mid-air, there is a strong harness support at his back, using which he can rest mid-air in a sitting position. This image where his body is in a stiff position further clarifies our point. Finally, he unhooks the stick and stands back on his feet to amaze everyone around. The third trick, the card restore trick. John Dorenbos, the magician known for performing some of the coolest magic tricks, once performed a trick on America's Got Talent where he invites the guest judge Paula Abdul on stage, gives her an envelope, and tells her to randomly pick a playing card from the deck. He then tells her to rip the card into four pieces and put it inside the paper bag. Next, he hands over one of the corners to her and keeps the remaining three pieces inside the bag. He then rips open the bag as we see the pieces disappear altogether. Finally, he opens the small envelope kept on the table as it magically reveals the disappeared pieces restored together with only a corner ripped off it. To everyone's amazement, the ripped corner in Paula's hand exactly fit the missing corner in the restored card. So, how did he do it? Well, let's find out the secret. The playing card was forced onto Paula using a technique called Invisible Deck. It's a technique where each card in the deck has a jack of spades placed over it to make it look like a single card. So, no matter which card Paula chooses, it's always going to be the jack of spades. Coming to the paper bag, it's a gimmick and has two compartments inside it. Also, the bags look like being attached together. Let's name them as the inner bag and the outer bag. Now, the torn pieces Paula gives to John were kept in the inner bag. He then opens up the outer bag to conceal the torn pieces inside the inner one. To the viewers, it looks as if the bag is empty and the torn pieces have magically disappeared. Also, there were two jacks used for the trick. The first one was Paula's jack, which was torn in four pieces and put inside the inner bag. And the second one was John's jack, which had a corner already torn before the act. And it was this corner that John had kept inside the outer bag before the act started. The rest of the card was placed inside the envelope for the final reveal. Now you must have figured it out. When Paula keeps the torn pieces inside the inner bag, at this moment, he opens the outer bag, takes out the prepared torn corner, hands it over to Paula, and conceals the pieces inside the inner bag. Finally, the torn corner fits the restored card inside the envelope to end this amazing act. So finally, the last God Talent trick on our list, the Amazing Teleportation Act. Richard Eisen, famously known as Magical Bones, once performed a trick on Britain's Got Talent in which he tells one of his girl assistants to stand next to the judges panel. Another girl assistant was then put inside a glass box with multiple swords pierced either side of her. A curtain was then placed around the box as we see Richard walk behind the curtain and the girl who had been trapped inside the box simultaneously comes on stage. Finally, the curtain was raised up and what do we see? It wasn't Richard trapped inside the box. To everyone's surprise, the girl who was standing next to the judges panel comes out of the box and Richard is teleported next to the judges panel wearing a different set of clothes. So, 
How did Richard and the girl magically exchange places? Well, here's the secret. The box is designed in such a way that the swords create a fake illusion of them getting pierced into the box. If you see the direction of this sword, it's not going straight into the box and instead comes out from its side. So the girl wasn't trapped inside the box and her hands and upper body were always free for her to escape quickly. Only few swords, like the two swords at the top and the one at the back, were actually pierced into the box and they didn't hinder her movement in any way. Now, after the curtain is closed and raised back, there was a time duration of 15 to 20 seconds in which the girl comes out of the box, another girl gets into the box, and Richard hides behind the curtain. The curtain is then taken backstage, which allows Richard to exit the stage, change his clothes, and silently appear near the judges using the secret trap door. Also, if you notice, at the start of the act, Richard spoke highly about the importance of the box in this act. So this forced the audience to keep a close eye on the box, and the focus of the audience was always on the box rather than the girl standing next to the judges. So, halfway into the act, she silently goes behind the backstage, removes her black jacket, and stands behind the curtain before the exchange takes place. And this is how Richard teleports himself from the stage to the judges panel. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind some of God Talent's most famous magic tricks. Which trick did you like the most? And name any other magic trick you would like us to reveal next. Tell us in the comments below. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.